right then, the Walsley. Yeah, yeah, collecting myself yesterday. Absolutely. Really there. 12.48, fixed head coupon. I'm reliably informed there was eight made, eight manufactured. Um, seven we think remain, one is believed to have been scrapped. So this is one of the seven that remain. Very unusual. Mm -hmm. Best thing about this, as people will know, overhead valve engine, on top of the job. Real powerful little unit. Lovely little car. Beautiful original interior, although the carpets could do a replacing. I mean, that's very simple. A new set of carpets from Coverdale. Could be talking about 200 quid a little bit more. Seats and upholstery on that are lovely. Really, really nice. Wood is superb. Dashboard's lovely. Um, very poor paintwork. Decent body, a little bit of corrosion. I'll just show you. Um, ever so minor. Little tiny bit. Just on here. Just a little bit, bits and pieces, but nothing much at all. Basically, let's face it, want painting. But I'd rather it want painting than a new roof, a new interior on such like, because the paint, you can see what you're going to do, you can see what you're into, you can work out the expense. Yeah. Um, chrome all good. Spare wheel cover, look at that. That's nice. That's mm. lovely, isn't it? And your little boot, what have you, in here. Now, apparently, what I'm led to believe, the Woolsey man will tell me I'm wrong, I'm sure, but what I'm led to believe, spare bits and pieces for it in there, odds and sods, there it was, owned by the same gentleman for 45 years, 45 years. Um, all, only reason he's selling it, the main reason why a lot of us are selling our stuff, we're just getting too old, simple as that. But what a rare bit of kit, what an unusual vehicle. And you can tell, I've told people time and time again, you can tell a good car, them, them wheels haven't been sandblasted and powder coated. They're lovely. Mm. Very, very little pitting on them. So the car has clearly not done a lot of work. It would be so lovely with a proper coat of paint. Maybe two-tone, put a maroon bottom. Yeah, that'd be nice. That sort of like. Yeah. Lovely. But what a rare car. What a lovely rare car. So unusual. Sort of thing, you go to just about any show and you will not see anything similar. Mm. Certainly one identical, you will, you will not. Um, chrome's all on the front as well, same as the back. All as you can see, period Scotland. Beautiful, look, straight, really nice, not been knocked about, hardly picked up a fly. 12 horsepower. And 12 horsepower, mm -hmm. 1248, which is 12 horsepower, 48, sorry, 12 horsepower, 48 brake horsepower. That's, I think, how, how it works. Um, we've got the little disc that goes in there, in the pack, taking it out because people don't tend to steal them for whatever reason. But anyway, we've got that there, um, good number. Um, so what can be more honest? Same owner, 45 years. Uh, an absolute little steal, I think. I think it's going to make somewhere around the six to seven thousand pound mark to give someone a start. Um, and I think it'd be a damn good buy. Mm, and obviously, up and running, you just drove it into the shed, just didn't you? Just drove it into here. She's lump piece is missing where she's not, not been used for two or three years. She wants the brakes cleaning, cleaning out, bleeding and cleaning out, and what have you. Um, and a bit of an engine service, but the engine itself sounds lovely. All pressure looks okay, although she's messing around running on three, four, three, four. So just wants a little bit of fettling, but nothing much at all. Good.